do something real quick. Sorry guys, we are uh, running a little late. Um, we had to get a lot of things done. Um, let me put it to live chat and I need to Everybody hear me all right? A lot of things done. Um, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, cool. All right. Um, today, we um, come to you guys to say thank you very much for all your support. Today, we brought Abigail Brandenburg, her vehicle home, and um, it's been a very, very, very long day. Um, at first we were, we were on another case and, um, um, uh, what was his name? Tony Bledsoe. No, no, not Tony. Um, the, the Tra guy. Travis reached out to us again, asking us to come to Vermilion Lake. Um, he believed that the location, which was only two miles from approximately two miles from her house that um, that she could be in here. The last location from the license plate was just on the bridge, in the middle of the bridge. So we know that she didn't come back. Um, from there, Britton from Depths of History and Lindsay and, and Kyle and I, we put her boat in and uh, with sonaring, with a fresh vehicle, it's very difficult to find a vehicle with a sonar when it's when it's um, in, been in the water for a very short time. With that, we wanted to go back and forth and scan every direction at that boat ramp to make sure that that she uh, that she wasn't there, and we did that. And with the location of the boat ramp, we all seen this break in the very tip top of the boat ramp of where the trees had an opening. And Britton, you know, he was like, hey, you know, we need to search over here. We were all in agreement. Mm -hmm. um, we were gonna actually search this whole perimeter of the, um, of the lake. From there, we went around the corner and sonared. We did see an object that I didn't I, expect to see. I, well, it, not expect to see, but it was, it almost reminded me of a longer log. So I said, this could be a vehicle. So then we went back over it. At that time, Lindsay seen that it was definitely a vehicle. Um, we sonar back and forth on it. Then we put the, a sniper marine pulled down and uh, got the mega live out. Lindsay was controlling it. <coughs> then we seen the wheels. Mm -hmm. um, Kyle then put the magnet on it and we were able to um, grab a hold of it immediately. We went back, Depths of History and I, we, uh, we suited up and we were able to determine when we got down there, that it was a red car. Um, we went around the car. We were able to retrieve the license plates and bring it back up. Because of you guys, we were able to do this. We were able to bring her home. And I just want to say thank you so much on that. This live stream is for the news media. Um, you know, they can have whatever they want from this. I just want you guys to hear exactly what happened point by point exactly what happened when we found her so it doesn't get misconstrued or anything like that so with that being said um Lindsay, would you like to talk about today um <clears throat> we were actually contacted about this case um a day or two after abby went missing abby went missing on may 5th um her license plate was seen on uh, it was around 8, 810, crossing over the bridge. Um, Travis reached out to us. Um, he and I, you know, spoke and went back and forth on details and things like that. Um, after exhausting all of our options 
on the case that we were working previously today, uh, we were about two hours away. We got in contact with Travis, said, hey, we're on the way. <coughs> um, getting in the water, um, you know, we all saw the break in the trees, but, you know, we, we stayed true to our pattern as far as, you know, clearing, you know, the boat ramp first and then working our way around. Um, so that's something that, you know, that we always stick to. I think we all kind of knew going over it that that, that was, mm. that was Abby's vehicle. I think that was something that we all felt, you know, in our hearts and our guts and that was it. Um, when, when Jacob and Britt came up with the plate, uh, as soon as Jacob came out of the water, I knew, um, there was like a telepathic <laughs> thing. Um, her family was on scene. That was extremely emotional for all of us. Mm. Um, but same thing, I think with every time there's a family on scene with us, um, there's this devastation, um, heartbreak, but at the same time, there's this weight lifted off their shoulders because for the first time in however many days, weeks, months, years, um, they know where their loved one is at. So my condolences to the family. Um, I'm just, I am happy that they're able to at least have some peace tonight when they lay down. Um, mm -hmm. you know, knowing where Abby is. Um, and thank you to, um, the multitude of agencies that were out here with us today. Um, Vermilion County Sheriff's Department dive team, Danville Police Department, um, the Kickapoo Volunteer Fire uh, Department, um, there were local EMS on scene, um, and as well as um, Carnegie's towing. Um, you know, they... They brought the big yeah, rig out. Yeah, they brought out their, their brand new rotator um, mm. and definitely, definitely put it to work. Um, and just, again, thank you to to Abby's family for allowing us to, to help with this. That's, that's my biggest thank you is to all of, to all of her loved ones. And, um, and thank you to all of you for, for believing in Jacob and continuing to support him and what it is he does. And without you guys, he wouldn't be able to do any of this. So thank you for believing in, in him so much. When, when, when speaking with the family, um, I, I looked at them and I said, listen, with what we do on YouTube and Facebook, it's not to exploit them. It's mm -hmm. to actually help families in need. And I told them that it's because we're able to do this and bring this to light that the subscriber, the subscriber reached out to us and, yeah. and Travis, you know, Travis was with us the whole time. If it wasn't for Travis to get me over here, you know, Abby possibly may not have been brought home and, you know, maybe, maybe she would have, but at least the family and her fiance knows where she's at now. And, and I just appreciate each and every one of you and the condolences also to the family. Um, but thank you for letting us and allowing us to come and help you. Um, and the local law enforcement, it's an honor to work beside you guys. And thank you for your cooperation in this whole thing. Yeah. So, Britton? Yeah. Um, well, going into today, um, we were originally searching for Tony Bloodso, which is about two and a half hours from here. And we get in the car, and Jacob and Lindsay are talking about another case two and a half hours away. And mind you, we've been on the road for two and a half weeks. and 3,000 miles. 3,000 miles. And... A lot of trials and tribulations, huh? A lot of trials, a lot of tribulations, but I've learned so much with them. And being able to be on scene and come to the scene and, you know, see, you know, the whole family there really gave me a sense of, okay, we have, you know, we have the family to talk to to get more information about this case. We haven't had that for um, very many of the cases that at least I've been a part of. And to have that was amazing. And we, we went down and sonared the boat ramp and we made sure to cover every angle and i really truly in my heart feel like the family knew that we were trying to cover everything to the best of our abilities 
And when we made it past the boat docks, we found that break in the trees. And it was right then and there that I saw the break at the bottom of the branches and they looked days old. And um, we marked the car with the buoy, came up to the top and you could actually still see the tracks from where a vehicle or something came off the road into the water. Um, I'm, I feel like I've cried myself out today. Um, I had a lot of, a lot of high emotions and it's never an easy situation. I mean, I, I can't even explain what it's like to have that feeling, but to be able to help the family, you know, get those answers. It's just, it's, it's what we want to do more. We want to help more people, help more families. And this is why we do this. This is why we go live for you guys to let you know what happened today and to also bring awareness um, just to to anybody, seriously. Anybody watching our videos that might need help or families in the future. With, with being away from our families, it's definitely difficult. Um, I know we pushed a lot this past two and a half weeks. We just want to help the families, you know, that's, that's what we strive for. And with, with Britain from Depths of History, please go over to his channel and support him like you guys support me. The reason why I had Britain come along is I wanted to show him exactly what needed to be done on the sonar. He's going to get the apex. You know, we, we sit there, I may have yelled a few times, but... <laughs> Uh, you know, it's it's to get the the focus on the sonar to be able to see things that nobody else sees that yes. we can see because we do this for a living. We do this. We've done this for two years. I know what a vehicle looks like, um, and mm -hmm. I'm training him. He's he's been wonderful. He has dove on so many vehicles, and I have not. <laughs> That's because I wanted him to get the experience. Um, with that being said, guys, we're not going to be here on very, let me rewind that. We're not going to be on very long. Um, I am going to open this up for about five minutes. Have, have you said what you needed to say? Um, I think for me, this was, uh, this was hard. This was hard for me because having, I think having the family there really made it difficult for me. Um, I never am one to usually think I'm going to break down in situations, but it, that just today just really, uh, really shook me in my core. And, and, um, I was proud of you. You were super strong. It, uh, yeah, it was, it was, um, it was very hard, but I'm, I'm so glad the family has answers. And it's one of those things where, you know, Doug, Jared, you, Lindsay have all told me you have to think about the positives that the family has answers and that they are no longer wondering where their lost loved one is. Jared from Adventures with so. Purpose has started a huge, huge movement, and I am honored, and I am I am super proud of all of the teams that have started. Um, this is a beautiful thing, and it's an honor to work for the families and the law enforcement side to side. So thank you guys for that. Lindsay? I'm going to open up this for about five minutes, guys, and we'll answer a few questions, and then we're going to be, um, we're, we're going to have to get some sleep. It's been a super long day. Brit, it's bittersweet from Francis. Please get much needed rest. When you all cry, the family knows how much you care, and it shows exactly. Take a look at the news from Lake Mead. Uh, we're not going to be speaking of that. Um... Good job, everyone. Um, um, a few had asked. So Abby has been missing for six days. She went missing on May 5th. Um, <sighs> she was 26 years old. So with with this being just, uh, just an update and being able to do this for um, the family so nothing will get construed from the news media we are actually going to um we're gonna we're gonna close this out um emotions are high stresses were high today yeah. <laughs> i want to give special special thanks to ringo and czar for letting us use your boat yes thank and, you kyle um, that means a lot and for coming down and being with us for the past couple days we needed you and you were there 
Thank you, Lindsay, for always being here and doing what you do. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be able to do this stuff. I don't really you, do that you keep <laughs> You keep everything in line. Um, Eric from Ride or Dive, thank you so much for allowing Lindsay to come out with us. And uh, Britton, thank you for coming. Yes, sir. With that being said, guys, keep diving. I love each and every one of you. It's because of you, Abby is home. Mm -hmm. So, thank you guys for supporting supporting everything and what we do. <laughs> thank you for for believing in Jacob all of this time and you know his abilities and you know without you guys, I think without you guys pushing him forward, it would be a long difficult road. So. Without you guys, there would be, there'd be no chaos. There'd be no Jacob. So there would, there, there would not be. And uh, so just thank you guys for, for believing in him and and everything. So with that said, I, I don't have anything else. So okay. love you, bye. Love you, bye. We love you guys. Thank you so much for everything, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you.